up, y'all? This be the King, Scotty. And as you can see, I was really jamming to that song by Candy Cow, Having Love, right? I love that fucking song. It's the shit. I love it. It's about her and what happened with how she really felt about AJ dying. And listening to that song gave me inspiration to make this type of block. And it's about appreciating people while they're still on earth and letting go of old things, especially with a person that you really, really care about. And that is the main theme of the video for today. So I'm going to talk about these right quick. And because you know. First of all, I didn't put up a video last week. And I'm putting, I'm kind of late putting up one now. But I'm sorry. I've been so busy trying to get my YouTube page up to par that I've been, you know, I'm. it's not that I've been forgetting to put up videos on, on Facebook. But I've been so in tune on you know, trying to fix up my YouTube page or whatever that, you know what I'm saying, I haven't really been putting up videos on Facebook, but if you're on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, this video was on YouTube too, but I'm talking to the Facebook people because, you know, the video going on Facebook and YouTube, so blah, 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 blah. But um, anyway, let me just start off with this. You know, as I've grown older over the last couple of years, I've noticed that I had a big problem and that's, that was forgiving those or letting go old situations. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect in those things because, you know, it's still a lot of things that I need to let go and a lot of things that needs to get off my heart and off my chest. I would be lying if I said that I didn't understand, that, you know, I didn't have that going on because I do. But, but when you see family members still having a grudge between them about some small shit and they can't even come together for family gatherings and stuff like that because it's so such a big old grudge between them and it's like they can't come together or talk about it. It makes me sad. You know what I'm saying? I hate to see family members and friends have a grudge, a grudge between them. You know, I hate that. I don't like that at all. And I feel like Whatever, I feel like if a problem occurs between family members and friends, I do feel like you should always talk about it. And, you know what I'm saying, you should always talk about the situation because holding on to a grudge for years and 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 years, and years is not healthy. And I know that for a fact. You know, you know, earlier this week, Facebook had this numbers game thing going on and a lot of people were sending me numbers and it was even people that I did not like or could not stand or people that I barely knew but I knew them or people that I was that I lost friendships with. And it was this one female, I'm not going to call her name out on the camera, but it was one female that I was once friends with and me and her friendship broke apart two years ago because she decided to to be, to run her mouth basically about something that I kept dear to me and something that I really needed help with basically and it was such, you know, a trying time for me and I confided in her because at the time I thought she was my real friend but when she went and ran her mouth to a person that I didn't want her to run her mouth to at the time you know, and I confronted her about it. She lied about it. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's what made me not forgive her. That's what made me dislike her and hate her because she lied about it. On top of lying, she went around her mouth and broke my trust. And when she sent me the number on Facebook, I didn't know whether to respond or not because there were so many emotions going on. I didn't know what to say, what to do, whatever. So, it was like... What, how do I put it? It was like, when she sent me the number, I'm like, what should I say? Because I've been holding on so much with her for a while. What do I say to her? So, um, we talked. And even talking to her, I didn't, I didn't hold, you know what I'm saying? I didn't hold back with her. I talked to her, and it's not like I cussed her out, I fussed at her, I just, I, you know what I'm saying, I just didn't sugarcoat it, I kept it real, you know what I'm saying, I kept it real, I, I, I came to her and I wondered why she did what she did, why did she feel the need to lie about it, 
and she talked about it. She felt like the line was saving our friendship, but you know, lies don't do nothing but fuck up a friendship. But you know, it's cool. And I'm not saying that we're best friends again, but at least I've talked to her and I've let the situation go, and I can speak to her when I see her on the street. I don't know about all, you know, being best friends and all that right now, but I can still speak to her when I see her on the street. That's called letting go of a grudge in the situation. Because I don't know how I would have felt if she would have died or something like that. Or something happened to her. And I would have so many mixed feelings because, it's, because you know, I hated her. I could not stay in the ground as she walked on. Every time I heard her name, I want to throw up. That's how bad I felt about her. And it, it's brought me to a better place, to be honest. It made me feel like if you cared about somebody, you should always talk about the situation at hand before it's too late. Because... You never know when it's your time to go. And it's going to be very upsetting and it's going to be very sad if you held on to a grudge. Or whatever. And you don't know how to, you know, you never let it go. And you got to let it go at some point because a grudge ain't going to do nothing but hurt you. It's not going to hurt them. You've given, you know, I gave a girl so much power. You can't give people that you haven't forgiven so much power. And that's why you got to forgive them. You know what I'm saying? You have to forgive people when they do you wrong. You have to. And to close this out, I'm just going to say that at the end of the day, you have to forgive people. You know, you, you, you have to forgive people. Not for not for yourself, but for not not I mean not not for them but for yourself. You have to forgive them. Despite what they did to you. And if you really cared about a person, you should always talk it out. No, nobody wants to be the big bigger person. A lot of people don't want to be the bigger person because half the time you are always being the bigger person. You just be the bigger person. Show that you've grown about your shit. Because not everybody's grown about theirs. So just be a bigger person about the situations at hand and just forgive a person. I'm not saying that whatever they did to you ain't shit and it's um, excusable because sometimes things that people do aren't excusable and it's not, you know, as forgivable as you may think. But when you forgive a person, it takes a weight off of you. And when I forgave her, it took a weight off of me because I held this big ass grudge against her. So the moral of the story is All you need to do is forgive people Despite what they did Because especially if you love a person That you once cared about them If you once cared about them Even though you dislike them There's always going to be a part of you That never wants anything to happen to them Nothing drastic, nothing deadly Nothing serious to happen to them And if something serious or drastic or deadly happens to them You're going to be feeling bad Because of the grudge that you have And the hate that you carry So always forgive a person And I think I made a blog about this Like a couple of weeks like a couple of months ago Always forgive a person And once I listened to Candy's song Having Love Right When she was speaking about how much she loved AJ And how she wished she could love him And hold him one more time Even though they was broken up At the time that they at, at the time that he was murdered She still had love for him And that's how I feel about certain people That I'm no longer friends with or, no, or people that I'm no longer cool with Like I had love for them I was cool with them I cared about them And for them to do me dirty like that I still love them But you know me being a high strong person that I am, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to forgive. But now I can forgive. And after I forgave my ex best friend, it took a weight off of me. And it feels so much better that I forgave her and I no longer have to deal with it. So the moral story is, please let go of old grudges. It's not worth it. Let it go. Let it alone. Do whatever you got to do. Talk it out. And if it can't be fixed, then... You know what to do. You got to let it go. Um, before I leave up out of here, as you can see, my hair is a mess. I need to get it cut. And congratulations to all of the college graduates that are graduating today. Uh, congratulations to Whitney Johnson and Angel Watson. I know it might be a lot more a, a lot more people graduating, but I actually know these girls. I don't know them that well, but I went to high school with them. So congratulations to Whitney Johnson and to Angel Watson. Congratulations on graduating from U the University of Southern Mississippi. Congrats to all of you. I wish you much success in your future lives. And I'm out this bitch in five, four, three, two, motherfucking one. The king is out. Holla.